back to DSF Watch Lost 2. This week's episode is called The Package. Sawyer was in a bunch of good stuff. Oh, we're talking uh, about Sawyer and Jack? Yeah. Uh, I was going to say Jack was in some good scenes. He was... He was only there in was, like a scene in the The half. scene at the end was good, kind of. Better than the rest of the scenes in the episode. Uh, the only thing, the only thing that for I Jack, thought for Jack. That okay, yeah. The only thing I thought noteworthy about either of them was uh, Sawyer's cool quote at the end, where he said, "I am worried. I'm just really good at pretending I ain't." Yeah. When he was talking to Son about being a candidate and kind of he took the locker role, you see in season one and two, where he's trying to convince people, you know, like you need to have faith in this place. I don't even remember exactly what they were talking about, but Kate and Locke were having a conversation in the camp, and he told her, whatever happens, happens. Which I thought was fun. I really a, like a that little, I had that uh, written down here, yeah. A little reversal of the last season episode, whatever happened, happened. I liked when he was talking to a son, and he was like, I'm not going to make you do anything against your own will. Yeah, that was, okay, these are all on my list. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, okay. Yeah, okay. I like his line of, I'm three people shy of getting off this island. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. That was also yeah. just kind of like a kind of funny way to put everything. My notes that I tried to take digitally are not here anymore. Oh, so. that's a shame. <laughs> is your Going phone green, dead? Sucks. Going yeah. green, is your phone dead? No, no, oh. but like it just Maybe like, you wrote on recycled paper. When Locke um, was talking to Widmore on the beach and um, he had that line, which I guess could also be a favorite quote, but uh, um, he said... <laughs> Paraphrase, a wise man once told me that uh, a war was coming to this island. My first one was going to be, they're going to get so hard when they see these videos by DK. Uh, that was pretty lost. That was just something that kind of struck me as interesting right before we hit play. That's quite interesting. That was, uh, I think that was what? referencing what we're doing here. But I swear... No, because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> I know a couple of our fans are going to also enjoy this line. Frank, hey, don't talk about bacon. Miles asks, we're supposed to believe that? And I, I think it was Frank. I may be mistaken, but I was pretty sure Frank Essen says the guy who communes with the dead. <laughs> yep. That was a good one. Just, just trying to keep everyone in check. Frank <laughs> Lapidus, good man. First off, huge disappointment at uh, ABC's choice to oh. spam us up with a giant ass THE Countdown also known as Countdown to the End of Lost. It could have just said, this is the countdown to the end of the episode that you're watching right now. And made it as big as they had that Very stupid true. fucking V logo and a countdown timer. My biggest disappointment was when uh, oh, who was running through? Smon Lockster's running through the forest. In the very beginning, I thought he was going to come across uh, the little blonde haired kid. I was like, oh man, I was just feeling it. You know, like I thought he was going to reappear and we were going to get some more of that. I was surprised when we got the dart attack. The blow darts that, or whatever yeah, that took out the entire uh, Man in Black's camp. That's Saeed, fair. Claire, uh, Kate, all those people. I was like, whoa, that came out of nowhere. Yeah. Did not see that right coming. Right at the beginning of the episode, too. It was like, we're going to get into the action now. Seeing Kimi be the guy to turn up at the door at the beginning of the episode. I always liked Kimi. And he was like the, he's like the comic relief, but the evil comic relief. I mean, and I was surprised about Desmond, even though I had a feeling or knew for sure that he was coming back. Mm -hmm. Um that, I mean, I was still surprised that he was what was in the closet. I thought that might have been, I almost think it, I thought it was a little too obvious. Just saying, just I was just say saying, half the episode seemed like it was the flash sideways, and until we get something more concrete about what the flash sideways even means, that half of the episode, I can't even take a revelation from that. It, it's like, it's filler until we get more more information about it. I really want to see that it's the epilogue. Specifically how close the man in black is to achieving his goal. Three people. 
So I, or how happen. about, uh, or how about that Kate's name wasn't on the cave anymore? That was I liked. Okay, that that was that was, nice. that was quite interesting. I I was I liked that, but I liked also seeing room twenty three. Uh, since seeing that front, since uh, that sounded like a whoa. shitty show on Sci Fi yeah, Network. Yeah, what the fuck is room twenty three? That was a good show on Sci Fi Network. What, Warehouse thirteen. The Lost Room. Uh, the most impressive revelation of the episode was definitely Sun's Tetes. No. 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 All right. Mine was what's in Whitmore's lockbox. I was expecting Walt, and I didn't want to actually commit fully to seeing Walt in this episode just to, so I could hedge my bet a little. So I went, what was in his lockbox? We get Desmond. That's the right answer. Uh, I was hoping for a Ben and Widmore meetup. Dot com. Um, <laughs> and I included a quad ball shaft and also a slight note that my guns are securely stowed away for later. Yeah. <laughs> I said that I thought we would see the relation between Aaron and Gian. I don't know if there is one, but it would be cool if there were. And that's why I wrote it down. And then in parentheses, or Smokey's name. Because my guns are staying loaded and cocked. I wrote down the guy Sun slept with. Hold on. That's Hold right. Hold on. We saw that. I guess so. Put that in the W column. Oh, wall of fame. Uh, Two for four. Wall of fame. Go now. No. Uh, uh, not so <laughs> that didn't help at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, who can argue with that? That was quite a wonderful reveal. I would agree. Toddies. 